It's like pitch black, raining. Like it literally was black when I first woke up, the whole house. It's so bad. So I guess my plan is to go to the park and have a fun day under the sun are not gonna happen. She woke up in a mood today. What's wrong? Why are you screaming? Tony's making breakfast and yeah, I guess we're just gonna be reined in watching movies all day. Okay, so even though it's a shitty day, I did get a package from Grove and I just wanted to show you guys a few things that you probably didn't know they have. Um, I needed toilet paper, napkins, and our dish detergent uh, pots, which these are the ones we use, but they have a lot of new like beauty stuff that I was dying to try. So the first thing is this Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, and this is made from rose petals. It's an alcohol-free toner, and I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it's amazing. There's a lot of like makeup girls that use it. It's really good for your skin. It's all natural. So I really was dying to try this and I was so excited that they carry it now. Uh, then I wanted to try this line. This line, A Cure, I think that's the name. It's an all natural beauty line and they have really good stuff. I've heard really awesome stuff. I've read really good reviews. So I was so excited to see it at Growth. So I decided to pick up a few things and check them out and I'll let you know how they work. Oh, yeah. So the first thing I got was this seriously soothing micellar water cleansing towelettes and these are made with rose and cucumber. And I don't use these often but I wanted to give them a try and let you guys know how they work. And again, this is all natural, paraben free, cruelty free, everything. Then I picked out some masks because you can't go wrong with a mask, it just makes life better. <laughs> so I picked up this uh, rejuvenating sheet mask and this one has argan oil, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and it's obviously for age. And this is just a sheet mask so I love these. You just put them over your face and then you take them off and throw them away. And then I also got this cucumber and silk tree under eye hydrogels and these are just for under your eyes i love these they help with puffiness and they're just really nice they soothe your eyes i just love little under eye um masks so got that and then the last thing i got was this acure rejuvenating face cream and this is made from butterfly bush extract now I was, they have tons of different like lotions or creams for your face depending on what you're looking for. This one had amazing reviews and it says that it helps with blood, blushiness, um, here, you can it? it brightens your skin and it helps with blushiness and it had really, really good reviews so I really wanted to just try it out. But that's all I got and because I spent a certain amount, I got these reusable Ziploc bags for free and how cute are these? They give you a large one. A medium one and a tiny one and these are great for pea snacks they're awesome for traveling and obviously they're reusable so that's amazing so that's it I just wanted to show you guys these because I don't know if you know that Grove just doesn't have cleaning products it also has all sorts of beauty products and also baby products so there's always a link in my videos if you guys want to check them out I'm not really getting paid for this but <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I got so yep check them out we showed you guys this we got this play pen for pee and it's pretty big like tone is in there with her and it's really nice because it helps me get stuff done i just put her in here with all her toys yes and she has fun so i'll link it below if you guys are interested i just got it from amazon what are you doing are you helping mommy or are you not helping me oh my goodness look at the mess you made already and you've been awake for like an hour. <laughs> Can you say hi, my little baby? Can you smile? Get this out of your mouth. Can you smile? Can you blow a kiss? Oh, can you blow another kiss? Can you blow another kiss? Look, come get it. What is that? I don't like that. Mm -mm. In case you guys 
guys didn't figure it out, we were a target. Um, Tone needed to get razors and I wanted to check out the Hunter collection. I don't have a lot of batteries, so that's why I didn't film in there a lot. Um, and they didn't have anything left for the Hunter collection. Like, they had just random stuff that I wasn't looking for, which is annoying because you can't order them online either. Like, I wanted boots, the low boot. You can order them online. They don't ship, you have to go to the store. And they said they had them at my store, but I guess they're sold out now, so that was dumb. But we just got snacks for pee and just some food we needed and Tone got raisins and I didn't get anything for myself. Thank you very much. I didn't even go through the um, do uh, this dollar spot area, so it's a true story. I never finished my tea, we probably stayed in the car. Yeah. I tried a matcha soy milk latte and I actually liked it. At the beginning I wasn't sure and Tone thinks it's nasty, but I thought it was really good. That's all I have. It stayed in the car because I went to change Penelope and someone, I'm not gonna say names, um, didn't get it from the car for me, so. There goes that. And now we're going home, I think. We're home from Penelope, sleeping in the car. <laughs> we don't wanna get up. So we're just here hanging out with the doors open. Just giving her a little time because the moment we get her out, she'll be awake, so. Tone is finally getting out and getting all this stuff out of the trunk. But I'm still sitting here. I'm so lazy, I don't even wanna get out and I don't wanna wake her up. That's being really lazy, right? Guys, I promise, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna hang out and I will answer questions. Okay. I was just answering some emails and look what Tom made us. How cute is this? Because we're having some wine. I know it's early. We usually don't have wine this early, but Penelope's napping. So we are having a little appetizer. I will show you Tom, but he doesn't like to be seen on camera. So sorry, guys. Okay, so while we eat this, uh, I figure since my computer was on, I would just answer some of your questions from last week's vlog so let's answer some christy cruz is asking what nationality is tone tone is half italian his mom is italian and his dad is half cuban half puerto rican so he's like a mixture um how do we like luciana tone really likes it you know i like it it's like nice here but it's hard to like a place when you're like far from your friends and family you guys know what i mean i've talked about this before so it's okay it's not a bad place but it's hard to like something when you don't have like the people you love around. Mm. Okay, so the big question, let's see um, here. Summer Rain asks, well, the big question is Christy Cruz also asked it, but I get so many questions about it. Why does Tone not like to be on camera? The reason why he doesn't like to be on camera is just because he just doesn't like it. Like. He's shy and, you know, he's not into, like, being camera. Like, I don't know. Like, there's some people that are up for those type of things and he's not one. Like, he's not really into, like, the whole social media scene and all of that. So, yeah. I mean, I don't feel like I need to make him. If it's not something he's into, like, I'm not going to force him to do it. Maybe one day he'll come on. Um, He's so supportive of me doing it. He just doesn't like to be on camera, but like he doesn't make me do things that I don't like. So yeah, that's it. And there's not anything crazy around that. He just doesn't like to be on camera. So Summer Rain asked, why are you and Tony not married? Um, is it that you, that, is it you that doesn't want to get married? Um, we're not married because again, we don't really, I don't know. I don't know why we're not married. I mean, he hasn't proposed. <clears throat> Just kidding, but I've never been the one to be like, oh my God, the type of girl to be like, oh my God, I need to get married. I think eventually we will. We have Penelope and I just feel like we have a family. I don't feel like we need to get married to be a family. I feel like we already feel like we're married. So what is the point? She's like, right. So what is the point of like, I mean, I get it. 
it's nothing against marriage. I just don't, I don't know. I don't think we need to like rush and do it. <laughs> I know I wouldn't be rushing because we've been together for eight years, but you guys know what I mean. I just, we will one day. I just don't know when that will be. So Kaylin asked, what did you do for work before you were a stay-at-home mom? Um, I used to bartend and I used to do freelance makeup. Um, I went to school. That was another question. I don't know who asked it, but I went to school and I have my bachelor's in marketing, which I think I said on the last video, but I just never used my degree for any job because I hated any office job that I would have. So yeah, I used to bartend and do makeup. Oh, are you awake? You little pumpkin. Penelope's away, guys. I'm gonna see if she eats a little snack. I'll answer more more questions in a little bit. Hi, my baby. Someone came to spoil the party. Are you eating our appetizers? What are you eating? She's eating the tomatoes and the mozzarella cheese. She loves it. Look. Oh, that was mine. So I made Penelope some um, soup. Actually, it's more like pasta. I took out the bread. Um, but it has veggies and chicken, like the one I used to make her when I was little. When I was little. Oh my god, when she was little. And we are watching Moana, which she actually has been like kind of watching and is really enjoying. But she's eating right now. And I'm trying to get some work done. We were just laying watching Moana until I got up to feed her. <gasps> is that good? Yum. Yeah? yeah? So good, I know. Oh, shy baby. I mean, she's wearing more than she's actually putting in her mouth, but that's okay. Hello, guys. It's like a scary movie. <laughs> Just kidding, but oh, wait. We lost power. Yeah, power's been gone for like 10 minutes. We're going crazy. Um, it's like 9.30 at night. We don't know what happened. I mean, you saw that we had like really bad storms all day. So who knows what's going on. Tony is calling now to find out like what's going on and when we could expect power to be back. So yeah, Penelope has been sleeping, but I don't want to make any noise because her uh, white noise machine is obviously not working. So I hope she doesn't wake up. And yeah, I think I'm just going to work on a video for a little bit and hopefully it'll come back so we can watch a movie. If not, we'll probably just go to sleep because what else are we going to do? But I'll let you know. I'll let you know what happens. We're just hoping it's not the purge. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I was just kidding. Good morning, everyone. Louisiana Street. Oh, the directions on my phone. So... It's Sunday morning. Let's get two things in here right now. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Turn left on because I wore it for like a half second to go out. So might as well wear it today again. And my hair is super dirty and I didn't wash it. Turn left onto the So I'm gonna wash it tonight. So yeah. Now that that's out of the way, I look so funny with this hair like this, but whatever. I don't care. Um last night. We fell asleep. We laid on the couch, we fell asleep, and then just moved to the bed. I went to sleep because the power wouldn't get there and all of our phones were dead. My computer was dead. My computer died right after I told you guys that the power left and that I was gonna work on a video, my computer died. So we had nothing. So we ended up just falling asleep and I guess the power got back like at 11 o'clock at night and we had been sleeping since like, probably almost 10 so we just turned everything off and kept sleeping until this morning and now we are on our way to breakfast brunch it's 11 so whatever you call it's breakfast or brunch we're gonna go to a new place called fat cafe we never fat been there spoon. oh fat spoon fat spoon and yeah that's what we're doing uh penelope's chilling on the back she had her bottle and then she had like a little oatmeal bar and then she'll eat breakfast with us over there so I figure again since we're driving I could answer the rest of the questions that I didn't answer yesterday because I know I answered like literally yesterday so let me look on my 
comment and then I'll just answer a few questions while we drive there. Okay guys, I found the video and I'm gonna answer some questions. So, Neza Rodriguez asked me if the YouTube pay is worth it. To be honest, YouTube doesn't pay a lot and like any job, you start making a little bit and it's how hard you work that will bring you more money. So the harder and the more time you put in and you know, the more you work on it, then the more money will come. But actual, just YouTube doesn't pay a lot. You need to do like other stuff to make um, the pay worth it. But another thing is if you're going in to start YouTube, just thinking that just, just because of the money, it's not gonna be worth it like you have to like it and you have to like be in it for other reasons not just the money um, that's my advice um, Ellie Martinez says can I talk about how it was to move away from my family and for us to move to Louisiana it was super hard I mean I feel like tone has been better which is weird because I'm used to moving away and like living I've been living away from my family for years he hasn't and it's been actually better on him than it has on me but I think it's because I have a baby but I like moving I like moving and living new places because you get to know the culture and like how other people live and I love seeing new places like I love traveling and I really like it I just this time it was just hard because I had a baby and we're away from like my friends that had babies like you know I always thought when I got pregnant back home that when I had my baby I would be hanging out with my friends that had babies and our babies would like grow up together and like play and like I always picture just like being close to Tom's family because you know there's a lot of like kids in his family so Penelope having all her cousins around so I think that's why it hit me so hard this time um but I do encourage people to move like I don't think I could have ever lived in the same place um my entire life so I definitely like that okay so I got a lot of the questions that I answered in the same in the last video not sure why but um, a lot of people are asking if we're planning on a second baby and we I, I told you guys like we do want a second baby but we're not planning for it right now um, maybe later this year earlier next year we'll start like planning or thinking about it but right now no no kid um, Zenobia cracked me up because Everybody keeps asking why Tone doesn't want to be on camera and she just like defended him. Um, I told you guys yesterday, it's nothing big. He just, he's shy. He doesn't want to be on camera. Um, I already told you what camera I use. I don't think, uh, did P lose her appetite when she was teething? Yes. Uh, when she was teething really bad, when these top teeth were poking through, she wasn't eating at all. And yeah, every time she's teething, she's like really bad with food. And then what is mine and Tone's favorite show to watch together? Uh, um, I mean, we've been watching Riverdale together and like it's really good. But one show that we've been watching for years since it started is American Horror Stories. We love that show. And we've been watching it since it came out like we don't ever miss an episode and we always always watch it together so I'll have to say that we love that show um, do I love my new vlogging camera yeah it's the same exact as my last one but this one has the flip screen so I do love it because I could actually see when I'm filming and I could see like I'm out of angle or you know if my camera stops recording and also my other camera was getting overheated and this one doesn't data so pretty good another question I asked uh, I was asked is why did I end up moving from Florida to Pennsylvania for college my sister lived in PA in Bethlehem Pennsylvania and I got a college there like I don't know my parents wanted to get me out of Florida because when I graduated high school I wasn't like for like a few months I just wasn't doing anything and I just wanted to like live my life so my parents were trying to get me out of there so 
they offer to pay my first two years of college if like I checked out some colleges in PA, you know, just to change and see different city and stuff and you know, I think they were scared I wasn't gonna go to college if I stay in Miami, so that's why I went to see my sister. I used to go visit her and I just went, checked out college there and yeah, that's how I got into college. That's why I moved there. So yeah, I first moved with my sister and then I moved out of her house and got my own place. Okay, I have to keep stopping to look for questions. Um, another question is what made us move here? I told you guys um, we got relocated for Tone's job, so that's why uh, we moved here. Um, <laughs> P, what's wrong? Another question was how do I feel about marriage? I feel fine, like, and have I talked to my parents about it? My parents are pretty much happy with whatever I decide. <laughs> I have four other sisters that all have been married, so I don't think they, like, care <laughs> about, like, the wedding side of it. Uh, they just want me to be happy, and as long as I'm happy, that's all they care about. I, My parents have been married for 38 years, so... It's nothing against like marriage. Anton's parents have been married for how many years? Like 32, so I think it's great, but I just not in a rush to do it. Another question here, or a couple questions, where are they? Oh no, I lost that question. Oh here, what kind of music do me and Tone listen to? Tone is a music junkie, he loves music. But we're usually just listening to like rap. Most of the time we're just listening to rap. But he loves music, um, hip hop, rap. He literally listens to it. Not like country or anything like that, but um, yeah. I mean, he, he, he doesn't listen to country at all. It's just more rap, hip hop, old school music. Uh, yeah, he loves music. Uh, what is my car? My car is a Lexus IS. Um, I get a lot of questions about my car, but I think it's because you guys like the color interior. This is the camel color interior. Um, but I need to change it soon because this was a sports car. It, it is a sports car and even though it has four doors, it's so uncomfortable with Penelope because it has bucket seats and like every time like here you could fit one person in the front and one person in the back and that's it it's like really small so i'm excited to change it um the last question when you had p um i had p when i had p i was induced but i had a natural birth i didn't have a c-section and it was actually really nice it took me a long time to have her like i was in the hospital for over 32 hours not around 33 hours before i had her um but it was good, I can't complain. It was a good birthing experience. Oh, do I speak Spanish to Penelope? Yes, I do. I speak Spanish to her, and you guys see me FaceTiming with my mom all the time, and she speaks Spanish to her. Um, I try to sing to her in Spanish, and I also like read to her in Spanish once in a while. So she definitely needs to know Spanish. Um, what, oh, am I going to be making videos in Spanish? I don't know, maybe one day, but like right now I just don't feel comfortable doing all that. Uh, but maybe one day I will. Maybe. I don't know. And I think that's it, guys. I think I answered all the rest of the questions. Unless I'm missing who are some of your favorite YouTubers. To be honest, I don't really have a lot of time to watch YouTube nowadays. And when I do watch it, I always just end up watching like my old school people, which is makeup people because that's what i used to watch i never used to watch like clean videos or anything like that i used to watch or lifestyle i used to watch just youtubers um doing makeup and that's how i learned to do makeup um but those were nicole guerrero carly by bell desi perkins which now they still do makeup but now they're more like daily vloggers so it's pretty awesome so if i do have time to watch a video i'll end up watching them um yeah, and like some of my YouTuber friends. That's it. I don't really watch other different channels because I don't have time. Uh, what is my favorite TV shows? Well, I told you guys. Oh no, I think I said on my life. I watch How to Get Away with Murder, 
how to get away with murder. Um, Housewives, hands down, are like my favorite show. I love those reality shows. So Housewives, um, Vanderpump Rules, uh, pretty much all the Housewives. Vanderpump Rules, I watch Walking Dead, which I don't feel as excited anymore, but I keep watching it because I spend so much time watching it. Mm, we watch American Horror Stories in October. Every October when it's on, we watch it. Uh, that's it. And the shows that I've been telling you on Netflix, Santa Clarita Diet, Riverdale. We watch Ozark on Netflix. We wa I watch Frankie and Grace on Netflix. Um, Stranger Things on Netflix. We you watched it we've too. Been, we've been at this life. For yeah, like this light has minutes. been. <laughs> we've been at this life forever, guys. Like forever. My phone won't turn. My phone froze. Oh, there you go. I think that's it. We are done with the questions. Ooh, ooh. we're done. That was it. That's all I have for you. Does my hair look funny like this? I feel like it does. So we just left the restaurant and it's been like over an hour. It was the worst service ever. The worst. Like we went in there and there was probably like four tables empty. You could just sit yourself. We waited like 10 minutes until someone actually came to our table and got an order like for drinks and stuff. And people came after us, whatever. It's been like half hour, we still haven't gotten, not even Penelope's food, so I tell the girl, I'm like, do you think we could have like some of her food because, you know, like she's hungry. She's like, yeah, I was gonna go check on that. I'm like, really, after like half hour? She brings me uh, Penelope's, some of Penelope's food. Penelope started to lose it. Another 15 minutes go by, I'm like, maybe more. I'm like, uh, excuse me, do you know when our food is coming out because it's been forever now and we like Penelope's starting to lose it we've been here and she's like yeah let me go check on that takes like 10 minutes comes back she's like yeah they're on your ticket right now they're gonna start working on your food it's been like 45 minutes at this point I'm like okay well we've been here for a while I said all of the tables around us have come in and they've gotten their food first she's like yeah the reason is because we got really busy and yeah and I was like what do you mean you got really busy? There's still t empty tables here. And because you got busy, that means our food got pushed to the back. <laughs> like, there was literally three tables that came in after us with more people and they got their food before us. Three tables. And I'm like, so I didn't say anything. I was like, okay, thank you. Our food took maybe another 25 minutes after that. Tom was like, tell someone we don't want the food anymore. Like. So we got, the boss boy was like, are you okay? Do you need anything? I said, yeah. Can you just let someone know that if our food is not coming out right now, we don't want it because we're not going to sit here for more time waiting for it. And as he was going to tell someone, our food came out. We didn't have silverware. It was, it was a disaster. It was it, seriously the worst experience. I probably won't go back because, I don't know. It was horrible service. And like, I... I understand because I used to be a server like I understand you know maybe you forgot maybe the kitchen blame it on the kitchen whatever you want but take ownership for it say I'm sorry like don't tell me you got busy and that's why my food got pushed to the back like she didn't even apologize nothing but anyways we're out and I think we're gonna go to the park because it is so nice out and he was just like what's this guy doing pissed in there um we were there for over an hour, so it wasn't fun. So we're going to the park now. You need to go to sleep, little girl, because you are cranky. Yes, you are. You're cranky. You took off your bow. You are a cranky baby. Yes, you are. Playing. 
Okay, so even though Penelope is not facing forward, we are switching her car seat because I feel like she's gonna be much more comfortable on this one. So that's what we're doing right now, right? And Penelope's just walking. <laughs> hey guys! So, we got back home from the park. We put the chair together and then we ran out to get Tone's car wash. Um, Penelope slept in the car. I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I did not want to wake her up, so we didn't go. We just came back home and pretty much just hung out. I did dishes, put cleaned up the kitchen, fed Penelope. She had we got this organic wild cod uh, cod fish sticks, and she really likes them. And cod has a lot of protein, so that's good. She had that, and then she had some broccoli and cheddar bites that I made her and that's it. That's what she had. And she had some cheese because she loves cheese. And that's it, I just cleaned up after that. And I took some pictures of stuff to put on Poshmark and now we just shower. Me and P showered and Tone is shaving for work. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold clothes like the story of my life. So I'm gonna fold some clothes while she hangs out here with me and then it's bedtime. <laughs> 